Hello guys, welcome to the video. Meta has just dropped VGG SFM. Not only they have given us a paper, but thankfully this time they have also shared a running demo on Hugging Face, which I will also be showing you and I will also drop the link to it in video description. Before I show you the demo, let me try to explain what is happening in very, very simple words. So this project in simple words is all about structure from motion or SFM. SFM is a way to create a 3D model of a scene using many 2D photos taken from different angles. It is like reconstructing a 3D puzzle from flat pieces. So how did they solve it and how did they use it in this project? So they used a step-by-step -step approach. First, they found matching points between images like finding similar puzzle pieces then they used those points to figure out the camera positions and angles. And then they created a 3D model by combining the images and camera into SFM. So this method by Meta uses deep learning to make the entire process more efficient and accurate. So what's new in it? First, they used pixel accurate tracks. So instead of finding matching points, they track the movement of pixel across images to create a more precise 3D model. And then they did simultaneous camera recovery, which means that they figured out all camera positions and angles at once rather than one by one. Also, they used a special layer to refine the 3D model and camera position simultaneously, making the entire process streamlined. And they have given some more information from here, but instead of getting into it, let me show you a few of the examples. Now you can either create, uh, drop your own video or you could simply go in and then use one few of their examples because they are cached. Let me try out this one. So just click on it and you can see that it is already selected with that. And then we will be doing the 3D construction and it has already loaded, but I will run it through. And then these are the reference images with it and number of query images frame, which we are going to use and all of these are 2d images so let's click on reconstruct it is running let's wait for it to come back also you can see that it is talking about the dense data point that is one of the important point here a dense point cloud is a 3d representation of an object or scene composed of a large number of points that are closely spaced together in contrast to a sparse point cloud, which may only capture the general shape and features of an object, a dense point cloud provides a highly detailed and accurate representation of the object surface. Dense point clouds typically contain millions or even billions of points, which are often generated using techniques such as photogrammetry, LIDAR, structured light scanning, and a lot of things happen there. They are also used in computer vision, robotics, surveying, computer graphics and then they tend to be very accurate high resolution and flexibility and that is why this project matters a lot so let's wait for it to finish creating almost there meanwhile it generates it because it could be it, uh, real slow due to the load and other stuff i will quickly show you the github repo so you can also check out more detail here. For example, if you want to see more examples, and this is a thing which we are looking to do, as you can see here in the second example here. Um, other than that, we can also check out the installation instructions here that how to source it, how to download the model, run the model and all that stuff. But it will require multi GPU and quite a heavy GPU for you. And there you go. It took around three to four minutes, but it has generated this 3D construction of the image which we provided. Look at that. Very good stuff. Okay, let me try to upload one of my own video, uh, audio maybe, and you can also do the video by the way if you like. But I'm just going to upload an image. I think there is an all, also an option of image here. So I'm just going to click here. I'm just going to upload the image from a local system and I'm just going to go with one of the beers ones let's wait for it to load 
and that is done let me reconstruct it let's wait for it and it has constructed something like this it's really cool took a bit of a time but at last it did there you go you see that so all in all very interesting project and i would highly encourage you to go through this um, github repo if you're interested in learning more they also have a very good good uh, paper written bit dense but if you are interested in this topic shouldn't deter you from reading it so that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching